kids, happy Sunday, but this isn't any ordinary Sunday, it's Father's Day. Happy Father's Day to all the dads out there. Today we are going to be talking about three dads who are very obedient and whose their obedience helps in the salvation of mankind. But first we're gonna play a game. Welcome to Father's Day Bible Trivia, the trivia game where I ask you questions about the Bible and you answer with which biblical father fits. Good luck. Question number one, who had twin sons? Isaac. Question number two. Who was Solomon's father? David. Question number three. Which father almost sacrificed his son in obedience with God? Abraham. Question, question number four. Which father lost all his children on the same day, but later received more children as a blessing? Job. Question, question number five. What was the name of John the Baptist's father? Zachariah. Question number six. Whose sons became the 12 tribe of Israel? Jacob. Life is always fair. I really enjoy repeating myself over and over again. I just love when the kids talk back to me. I don't care if you get a job this summer. I don't care if you get detention. Uh, uh, I, I can't open this jar. See if mom can open it. Just take your time in there, okay? No means maybe. Hey, why don't you bring that ball inside and play with it? Hey, don't put that back where you found it. Just leave it on the floor. Ew, bacon. If you put a dent in the car, it's really no big deal. It's 10 a.m. Go back to bed. Look, whatever your friends are doing, just do the exact same thing. I got more than enough sleep last night. If your friends are okay with it, then I'm okay with it. Stop signs are just a suggestion. You don't need a chaperone. You don't need a seat belt. You don't need a savings account. You should buy the jeans with the holes in them. Hey, we're all gonna go to church, but you can just sleep in, okay? Can we please just hang out in here for another 10 minutes? Hey, can we get some more bickering back there? All right, bills! Yay, traffic! Woohoo, taxes! Yes! Laundry! Hey, can you kids come in here and jump on my bed? Quick, go tell mom what happened right away. You don't need to finish your dinner. Hey, look at your phone when I'm talking to you. I wish I had a smaller TV. We got you that phone for a reason. Texting boys. All right, everyone, listen up. Mom and I are going out of town this weekend, so please, mess up the whole house while we're gone. Please throw a few parties while we're gone. Please forget about the dog entirely while we're gone. Hey, when you're finished pouring that, can you just leave it out on the counter all day? Thanks. Hey, what are you doing? I'm gonna bungee jump out of this tree. That's a really good idea. Father's Day, Dad. I love you. I uh, just want to wish Happy Father's Day to my dad and all the fathers out there. I want to wish Happy Father's Day to my dad, my papa, and all dads. Love you, Daddy. Happy Father's Day. Love you, Daddy. Happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day. <laughs> I love you, Dad, and Happy Father's Day. Hey, Dad. I love you. Happy Father's Day. You're the best pastor and dad. And oh, it's from your favorite daughter, so. Happy Father's Day. You're the greatest dad. Thank you for all that you do. We love you. Happy Father's Day, Daddy, we love you. Happy Father's Day, Dad. Love you. First dad we're gonna talk about today is Noah. Genesis 6, 6 through 10 says, The Lord regretted that he had made, made human beings on earth, and his heart was deeply troubled. So the Lord said, I will wipe from the face of the earth the human race I have created, and with them the animals, the birds, and the creatures that moved along the ground, for I regret that I have made them. But Noah found favor in the eyes of the Lord. 
This is the account of Noah and his family. Noah was a righteous man, blameless among the people of his time, and he walked faithfully with God. Noah had three sons, Sham, Ham, and Japheth. Noah was described as righteous, blameless, favored, and faithful. Even in a time of wickedness, Noah was chosen by God because he was faithful. Hebrews 11, 7 says, By faith, Noah, when warned about things not yet seen in holy fear, built an ark to save his family. By his faith, he condemned the world and became heir of the righteous that is keeping with faith. Our next dad is Abraham. Genesis 22, 1 through 2. Sometime later, God tested Abraham. He said to him, Abraham, here I am, he replied. Then God said, take your son, your only son, whom you love, Isaac, and go to the region of Moriah. Sacrifice him there as a burnt offering on a mountain that I will show you. Genesis 22, through 9 through 12 says, when they, reached, when they reached the place God had told them about, Abraham built an altar there and arranged wood on it. He bound his son Isaac and laid him on the altar on top of the wood. Then he reached out his hand and took the knife to slay his son. But the angel of the Lord called out to him from heaven, Abraham, Abraham, here I am, he replied. Do not lay a hand on the boy, he said. Do not do anything to him. Now I know that you fear God because you have not withheld from me your son, your only son. Abraham was sacrificing, meaning that he was willing to give up his only son, which he waited a hundred years for, just for God's plan, and showed how much trust he had in God. Abraham was a trusting person, and his story teaches us to obey God even when it's hard, no matter what it seems like God's asking us, seems like it could be crazy. Um, but he was rewarded for his trust in God, and he became the leader of God's children, and Jesus was his descendant. The last dad we're talking about is Joseph. Matthew 1, 18 through 24. This is how the birth of Jesus, the Messiah, came about. His mother Mary was pledged to be married to Joseph. But before they came together, she was found to be pre pregnant through the Holy Spirit. Because Joseph, her husband, was faithful to the law, and yet he did not want to expose her in pu to public disgrace, he had in his mind to divorce her quietly. But after he had considered this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife, because what is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fill what the Lord had said through the prophet. The virgin will conceive and give birth to a son, and they will call him Emmanuel, which means God with us. Then Joseph woke up, he did what the angel of the Lord had commanded him, and he took Mary home as his wife. Through his story, we see a protective father. And that's how God wants all fathers to be, protective and loving. But sometimes earthly fathers, they mess up and make mistakes. But you need to remember that God our Father doesn't make mistakes, and he's always there for you. Thank you for watching. Happy Father's Day. Make sure to give your dads a big hug and tell them how much you love them. I'm going to go ahead and close with a prayer. Dear God, thank you for all of our dads and help them to be the type of fathers that you would want them to be and help them to just survive through all of the chaos that kids can bring. We love you. Amen.